All right, hello everyone. Um, happy Thursday, the day I'm posting this video for you guys. Let me move my cup and hopefully get better lighting. There we go. Also, know I have two puppies that I love with my entire heart in the room, and sometimes they like to bark, so FYI. Um, but today I wanted to give you quickly an update on chemotherapy. Um, as I have posted, this is my first week post-radiation, um, post the six and a half weeks of that radiation, right, and chemotherapy, and then the two weeks off I got. So I wanted to give you an update first and foremost. Um, there was a delivery weird error that happened. Um, remember my house changed with the water heater problem and how that's still definitely in construction right now. Um, so I just got my chemo meds this today. Um, so I'll take them for the first day of this week and go the next five days in a row. So I'll let y'all know how I kind of feel um, from there on out. Um, but uh, for now I feel fine <laughs> and I wanted to use this opportunity since I just washed my hair to give you the update on kind of what's happening as a woman who has brain cancer and what her hair is uh, because this prior to this whole life was such an important area to me and it still is but remember I had that bright red beautiful um, colored red hair um, and I loved keeping up with it and caring for it um, so let me fill you in if you don't mind on hair. So, um, real life, every single person loses hair. Some guys go bald, they get hairlines, you know, right away in their 20s, early 30s, and they're bummed about that. Um, some women definitely um, have thin hair or lose hair. And every time I mention, well, I lost a ton of hair in the shower this time. Like, me too, I lose a bunch of hair in the shower. Well, we're always going to, um, especially as the longer we go in between showers with all of the cool you know, products that we have out there, like dry shampoo and things like that. Um, and I know women start to decrease the amount of showers they have per week because life is crazy. Um, so I know you lose it. Everyone does. But this case, I lost a lot. And it might look like this is normal, natural hair. It doesn't look like you're balding, Nicole. Why did you show us this wig? What's your deal? I definitely am. Um, and let me show you the select areas because I do have a beautician who is my cousin named Kelsey. And if you want to see her, she's in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. She's phenomenal. I had sent you there. You can reach out to me and I'd love to share that information with you. Um, but let me show you how she's helped me figure this process out and what my cool little strategies are. And you may have seen some of this already on social media. So on the left side, this is the left side of my side of life, where I have lost a lot of hair where the biopsy happened and the surgery, of course, happened. So it's an under layer, mostly, right? So you've seen pictures of the scars. Um, so right now you can see this is where the scar happens. Maybe you can't see as well over this uh, web um, cam, but I promise you it's pretty obvious in real life. And then the scar ends in front of my ear. So if you can see it potentially, it'll be there most of my life, most likely. And then you can see that there's hair that's growing over, and this is from the biopsy. So when we first found out there was this large mass in our head, or in my head, that potentially could be cancer, they did the biopsy before the surgery, right? So hair has grown back um, because of that, and we are learning lots from it. Um, but the hair underneath, there's a ton of baldness. <laughs> so when I wear my hair in a ponytail, which I tend to do very often, is when we can see this. It spreads all the way to the back. Um, I don't know how far you can see, and it itches all under. Like, it's my under layer that is itchy. Especially back here, it makes it really unpleasant to sleep when it's all your under layer of your head. And especially the side that I would have laid on <laughs> most nights, so I have to lay on the other side. But um, radiation is what the cause of the hair loss is, and so it has impacted this right side because there's a really large underlayer that is hidden as well over here. So it certainly does make like half up dues, I would say ponytails, buns, a lot more difficult for me as a woman, and those were my go-to styles. But so thankful, like praise the Lord, um, for giving me this opportunity to at minimum still have a way to um, cover most of that and so I can get away with doing my hair and wearing it selectively and being intentional about it. Um, and it's kind of cool to see like this much hair growth and how it's coming back from just the loss in July, right? So, um, 
if you see these peeking out or when I'm wearing a wig pop in the way, that is why. Now, the number one strategy I have had for hair loss, which you all have absolutely seen by now, is my large stash, stash of headbands in all colors, all varieties, um, workout ones, but also fancy ones that I wear anywhere, um, and then even some cool um, head wraps. Let me get my mouse out of the way here. Sorry about that head wraps that I got from where I got my wig, which makes a huge, huge deal. Um, Cause this covers the majority of my head and ties up and it makes me feel kinda cool. Um, so I have all of these options and I wanna thank friends um, from the bottom of my heart and family members who got me these headbands to begin with um, when we learned about this biopsy. So I know my my future sister-in-law, Sarah Zimich, gave it to me, my bestest of friends, Erin Channer, um, and my family members have gotten these for me too. And I couldn't have done them without it, without them. And I know that even Erin and Sarah got me the same ones, but I won't be mad about duplicates. I definitely sweat and wear them. So that's how I spend most of my days, I would say, whether my hair is clean or not. Um, I also showed you all my wig. Um, and even I'll pull out the wig that I wore for Halloween. So this is off of Amazon way cheaper than the wig that I have that is 10 times more beautiful than this one. This was because I was Rachel Green from Friends and she had this hair at the beginning of their season when she was a barista, right? And I was a barista forever. So it was funny and I love Friends and it's their 25th year anniversary. So nonetheless, um, but this is uh, an option for anyone and I encourage people to wrap their minds around um, wigs and what you put on your head to keep the wig on. I can tell you all about that if that's ever something you want to know or learn about. Um, and then lastly, to keep this video, you know, um, good for you guys in terms of length is this hair headband braid. Now I'm busting myself out. I'm not braiding my hair <laughs> anytime you see this look in the future it is a way to cheat to be honest i still have my tag on um actually it's not on i took it off and stuffed it in the little box it's in but you can buy this in multiple colors and then you can put this on your head just like a headband you would and right now it's a little big because i wore it with my wig but you can pull it up and over and have a full set of hair. Um, something that makes you look more fancy and feel a little bit more confident whether or not you can ever dye your hair again, because I can't, um, and you're losing it. It makes a huge difference, at least it does for me. Um, and my head is so itchy, so I have this itch cream. If you need to know more about that, you've got an itchy skull. I'd love to tell you about that so you can bring that itching down and help yourself not ruin the follicles of your scalp. Um, I'm unfortunately using um, the Head and Shoulders Shampoo and Conditioner because it does help so much with itchiness. It's meant for dandruff specifically, but it's also saving the day here. And normally I'm a chemical free gal and it's going to be intentional about all my products. I am about my makeup still. Um, but that is a good solution for me right now with hair loss and could be potentially for you as well. So if you have any questions about anything, I wanna be real with you guys. I wanna share with you what's up and I wanna give you some of the more in-depth progress pictures from surgery, getting my hair cut, what it looks like now. Um, so you can all kind of see the plan and know a little bit about it. So I'll post that for you all shortly. Um, but otherwise, I'll let you know how I feel after five straight days of a higher dosage of chemo and give you a heads up when that crashing fatigue week happens. <laughs> Thank you all.